Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel KN Academy. So today we have uh, Shruti Shuman and that she got placed in the Tech Mahindra Associate Software Engineer. So we are going to discuss about the uh, full interview experience of her. So we can start now. So hi Shruti, uh, good evening to you. So how are you hi, doing? Hi, good evening. Yes, I'm doing fine. Yeah, good. So we can start uh, your interview experience. So you can start like what was the process, how you applied in the Tech Mahindra and what was the difficulty, how you cracked the Tech Mahindra Associate Software Engineer. So you can start your process now. Okay. So I started searching for off-campus opportunities around June, applying to almost every company where I met eligibility criteria. Among those, I cleared the online assessment for the application engineer role at Flipkart. I was thrilled to receive an interview mail, which was scheduled on 19, 19 June. However, I was uh, not selected as the problem solving and DSA round was quite challenging. Um, so I started to lose hope and stop applying to other companies. Uh, it was a difficult phase, but my parents and my elder sister never stopped believing in me. Um, uh, I would like to specially thank my elder sister as she has always been my biggest supporter. Um, after my uh, rejection in the Flipkart interview, uh, she said, uh, no matter the outcome, remember that you have already achieved uh, something remarkable. Uh, believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. Her words reignited my confidence and uh, I started searching for opportunities again and eventually came across the Tech Mahindra off-campus hiring drive. Okay. And I think around in July, I have applied for Tech Mahindra. Okay, so Shruti, you uh, were preparing for Tech Like uh, for off-campus, did you join any classes or something or you are just going to the YouTubes or uh, com from where you got the exact links for the uh, off-campus? Uh, no, I have not joined any extra classes. Uh, I have just uh, from YouTube only, uh, like from your channel, uh, KN Academy. Uh, helped me a lot, uh, like for uh, uh, getting uh, updates from off-campus hiring opportunities. Uh, so uh, I recommend following KN Academy for all the latest uh, latest updates on off-campus hiring opportunities. Uh, they share great resources and can help you stay informed. Yeah, um, thank you, thank you yes, for uh, this feedback. July 2024, you have applied for Tech Mahindra. Yes. So previously, you uh, like uh, uh, were shortlisted for uh, like Flip card, right? Okay, yes. that is great uh, chance. I think you, your resume is eye catching also. So basically, yes. uh, the first time you applied off campus, right, in the Tech Mahindra. So yes. after that, how like how much time it uh, takes for shortlisting for after applying? Like it, uh, um, they take uh, in phases. Like uh, they have uh, hired in September for September batch also, and uh, uh, I got the um, uh, test link uh, for October in October. My test was held in October. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, what did your like? What was your percentage like criteria during the hiring process now for Tech Mahindra? What was the percentage yes. Because some students like got confused. Like they are saying, uh, percentage matters or not for the uh, shortlisting. So, what was the percentage criteria for the hiring process? Uh, yes, uh, percentage matters here. Okay. Like, uh, if they get the test link, a uh, test link for the uh, test, but. Uh, even after our, after interview for document verification, they check the there is a criteria for percentage like in tenth, twelfth, and uh, uh, B Tech. Uh, there must be seventy percent and above in all the three uh, in all in every education background. Okay, so after the interview or before shortlisting? No, after the interview. Interview for document verification. Document verification. Okay, okay. So basically, after shortlisting the like, what was the exact process? How many rounds was there for uh, selection mm -hmm. process in your uh, like interview that one in Tech Mahindra? Uh, yes, there were total five rounds. Okay. Uh, round one to round three were conducted virtually. Okay. And round four and round five, uh, that is TR and HR round, uh, was conducted in Tech Mahindra office. Okay, okay. So what was the location for the, uh, te the technical interviews and HR interview? Yes, my location was in uh, Bangalore only. Okay, okay. So can you specify like uh, what was the rounds, like first round, second round, like what are the specific mm -hmm. rounds and like what type of questions they have asked in each rounds? Uh, yes, the first round was uh, aptitude plus essay writing. Uh, talking about the aptitude question, uh, if you are good at aptitude, uh, there, there were medium level questions. 
the difficulty was not that hard. Uh, one can crack it uh, if they are good in aptitude. Uh, otherwise, need some practice, and they can do it from IndiaBets.com. Okay, so in the aptitude, yes. like uh, uh, how many sections, like uh, different, like co- like puzzles type sections, was there or normal aptitude? What numerical like? and logical reasoning. Only numerical and reasoning, right? Uh, there, uh, there will be no uh, verbal ability. Quantitative, yes. Uh, no. No, only quantitative or logical. Okay, so aptitude covers only quantitative and logical. And no. then and essay, essay writing. writing. Okay, yes. so uh, like uh, any criteria for essay writing? Yes, uh, in essay writing, like uh, I remember my topic was uh, people should choose careers that are monetarily uh, rewarding even if their passion lies elsewhere because money plays a very important role in life. Okay. Uh, in this, you need to support your stand with uh, reasons and examples of maximum uh, 400 words to be completed within five minutes. Okay, okay. Like 400 words or 200 words? 400. Words. 400. So, okay, because previously what was the criteria? Tech Mahindra have changed this one. Previously it was like 250 words. Now they have mm-hmm. make it like uh, 400 mm-hmm. words. Okay, yes. so it was total aptitude round, right? AC plus aptitude, first yes. round. After that, yes. the next round was uh, which one? Uh, second round was technical MCQ and coding questions. So technical MCQ, like which topic they consist or uh, coding questions? How many coding questions was there? Yes, MCQ questions were theory questions of DBMS, uh, OS, OOPS, uh, computer network. That is the core subjects uh, that we have in our BTEC. Hmm. And in coding section, uh, there were two questions. Uh, the first one was uh, medium level, or you can say easy question, and the second was little complex. Okay, so like for uh, which topic they can ask the coding questions, array or any other topic they no. are asking. String. One was string, and uh, the other was. Mm. Okay, okay. You forgot, okay. I think. Yes. Yeah, no issue. So maybe because first question it is from the array, string, stack, uh, queue, something. It is easy level, right? Or second one yes. bit different. It was like hard level, medium to hard level. It was okay. So yes. two two coding questions will be there, and uh, a technical MCQ which which is from. CS fundamentals. Okay. Yes. So that that was the second round, and after that you got shortlisted for the second round. Then technical round, technical round and HR round was uh, like conducted at a same time or different. Before friend. that, one okay. one more round. Round three is also there. Okay. Okay. Uh, round three was conversational round. Okay. Okay. This is also an important round uh, as it is an elimination round too. There were seven sections in this. So what was the sections there? Questions like uh, the first section was uh, they check the fluency of the English, and the second was um, we have uh, they give a paragraph, uh, they say a paragraph, and we have to answer from those. And like this, um, there were seven sections. Like communication type, right? Communication, communication assessment. Round. Okay, yes, so yes. that is also uh, like with Turkey round also, na? And elimination round also, right? Yes, elimination round. So all rounds uh, was elimination mm-hmm. round. Yes. Okay. So after this uh, conversational test, you got the technical interview and HR round. Okay. Yes. So technical interview and HR round was the f- one round, or uh, it was like different different rounds because some companies no. are like con- like conducting like only one round only technical plus HR. So it was like different different for you. Uh, no, on one day only, or uh, same oh, day. Uh, okay. Like it was uh, after clearing technical round hmm. uh, on the same day, HR round also. Hmm. Well, okay, so can you tell me like what type of questions? Because students are like they are so like asking only this question. What type of questions? Like when they are asking the technical interview and HR interview, how to answer that one? So you can tell to a subscriber what uh, they ask to you the technical questions. Okay, so technical round depends on what you have mentioned in the resume. Uh, here, resume plays a very vital role uh, because everything that. you have mentioned in the resume is a copy for them to understand uh, what knowledge uh, do you have and basically they stick on the same as a map for asking questions uh, so my interview uh, was uh, about 20 minutes uh, and the interviewer asked uh, about my internship as i have done two internship during my btech uh, second year and final year uh, so i uh, so i was asked about my internship experience and the work that i have done at uh, ur rao satellite center isro um, okay yeah and uh, and if you don't have any prior internship experience then uh, they will ask about your btech project that you have mentioned in your resume okay and 
the technical the question, questions yeah technical questions yes uh, uh, he asked me to write uh, two sql queries and uh, and also uh, one uh, code of uh, dsa okay and uh, and we and some behavioral questions uh, like uh, i have mentioned in my resume uh, like leadership qualities and leadership skills so yeah. he asked me the to explain the describe the uh, skills uh, qualities of a leader uh, and uh, then he asked me to differentiate between a leader and a manager yeah um, yes so uh, that was the technical full right yes, yes. so basically uh, the questions is very important that asked to you because students are like confused the tech mahendra is going to ask the coding question or not so as she told that uh, like they ask also coding question one coding questions yes. from the dsa yes. right it was not yes. short programming it was dsa coding questions so guys a uh, no. tech mahendra is asking coding questions also in the technical interview and uh, did they ask the questions from the cs fundamentals like oops and other computer network or dbms like dbms uh, yes. sql query he okay. asked me to write yeah. so SQL one query. database also they can ask the questions mm -hmm. or uh, some technical whatever yeah. you are mentioning your resume that is the important right so they are yes. asking from there if you have internship then you can prepare if you have project then you can prepare that one okay Aap after that like uh, uh, like how much time it took for like shortlisting on the technical interview uh, yes uh, around uh, uh, 10 to after 10 to 20 minutes uh, they called me for hr round okay so what was the question what they asked in the hr round uh, yes hr round uh, for the first question asked to me was that uh, in which company did you uh, pre uh, uh, give an interview uh, last interview uh, so so i um, told them about that flipkart interview and then uh, the next question um, was of uh, some um, uh, that uh, situation based questions um, and uh, so we will question solve yes, in the so, hr okay so they asked me about uh, situation based question and uh, the last that is common question why do you want to join tech mahindra okay the last question and uh, like did you ask any mm -hmm. questions from them because uh, the last question they are asking like uh, do you have any questions for them or something so students are asking yes in technical question. round he asked me in okay so what, what do you ask mm -hmm. like basically what should students ask mm -hmm. any suggestion uh yes like uh, i asked uh, about my feedback of the interview like over oh, yeah. okay yes feedback okay so that is also important because you don't need to skip this question if they are asking like uh, do you have any questions so you should answer like you should ask any of the question whatever you have but ask only logical question not the logical questions so that was the full uh, process i think after that you uh, selected right you got like selection yes. mail then uh, after that further process yes, that we will not yes. discuss about the further process i think all the students who got selected they know what was the next process like of a letter loi and document verification that was the next process but uh, she explained about the full hiring process what was the exact questions and uh, like if a student don't know like interview they are going to ask like some technical questions also and uh, uh, for aptitude i think there was previously if you check for the tech mahendra it was like verbal ability also but this time verbal ability was not there only logical and quantitative aptitude was there and technical mcq from the cs fundamentals also okay so that was the uh, full interview experience as a associate software engineer of uh, shruti shoman so thank you so much uh, shruti uh, to have and uh, to share your, uh, your experience to our audience so any tips for success for our, our audience like who are preparing for the uh, off campus placement or on campus placement so any tips you want to give yes one tip i would like to share is to go through your resume thoroughly be well versed in everything you have mentioned Uh, as you may be asked about any part of it during the interview uh, and another important thing is to wear your confidence uh, don't stress too much about uh, whether you will receive an offer or not uh, instead focus on uh, being fully prepared uh, fully prepared and approach the interview uh, inter uh, with the mindset that you are evaluating whether to offer your skills and talent to the company uh, this positive and proactive attitude can make all the difference yeah uh, great great shruti yeah thank you so much uh, for providing good uh, suggestion to our, uh, suggestion to our students and audience 
it is great uh, tips for them wish uh, best of luck for your future yeah thank yeah. you thank you shati